I say hey. Hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. I said hey, what's going on? What I'm going to do, <clears throat> here's what I'm going to do. During my day off, I'm going to hold a poll on Twitter to determine what game ends up being my main gameplay stream for Friday when I return back from my day off, okay? And the choices, obviously, will be either Hitman 2 or Spyro 2. Whatever ends up winning the poll will be the main featured stream. Whatever ends up winning the poll will be the main featured stream. But overnight, I did a poll on Twitter, all right? And my Twitter poll asked as such, um, do you want to see me play Fallout 76, or should I skip it and focus on the other new releases, okay? And the Twitter poll was almost even. I think it was like 53% people saying, yeah, give it a shot. And the other half was basically negative responses, because I did two responses. No, don't play it, or why does it even exist? So two kind of negative responses saying, obviously, you don't want to see me play it. So I think it was skewed like 53, 47. That's not very good. I received an anonymous dollar tip. And they said, in regards to Fallout 76 and Battlefield 5, you can just say you don't want to play a game. In fact, it's probably better to do that than search for reasons not to play a game or try to make a poll come out negative for it. Number one, I never tried to make any poll come out negative for anything. I just put up polls to try to get public opinion, as I've explained many times. Number two, there's nothing about, oh, you have to, you have to find reasons to not play them because you don't want to play them. The reason I don't want to play them is because of reasons. I didn't wake up one morning and say, I just don't want to play Fallout 76, so fuck it. Let me try to find 25 excuses not to play it. No, that's not me just trying, oh, he's trying to find reasons and justify it. That's the reasoning behind it. That's how intelligent humans handle stuff like this. Like, we ha we look for reasons to do things, and then we do them. We don't just do things on a whim. Oh, I'm just not playing Fallout 76 on a whim. No reasoning behind it. No, there's reasoning behind it. It's, you know, I swear, I swear to God, people just like... They flip out over this shit. Oh my god, Phil held a poll on his Twitter and he didn't listen exactly to what the, the results said. Why'd he even hold the poll? Oh my god. People just look for reasons to complain. So, five straight days of streaming until my next day off. And then, of course, after that, we've got Thanksgiving and the Black Friday time. And by the way, this this year, um... Black Friday, for me, is the beginning of the holiday season. If you're gonna see what I'm gonna do is on Thanksgiving, I'm going to be spending some time with Kat. We're going to have a nice Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> nice relaxing time together here at night. But I'm also going to decorate the office for Christmas. And I'm also going to introduce a new mascot. That's right. People loved potions so much that I've decided to bring a new mascot in for Christmas. And... He that mascot will be introduced on that day, Black Friday, which is uh, November 23rd, okay? You know, and then for a month after that, it'll be the Christmas celebration leading into Christmas time. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, a momentous announcement. As of last night... As of last night, we hit all of our subscriber goals for the month of November. We hit 525 subs and then 550 subs, okay? What this means is very important. It means that, number one, I will be doing a holiday gaming marathon on or around Christmas. It's probably not going to be on Christmas. It'll probably be a day or two beforehand. That makes a lot more sense because a lot more people will be available to be here and watch me do it a day or two before Christmas, okay? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll be playing a variety of games, alright, it's not just going to be holiday themed games this year, it's going to be a variety of games based on what people nominate and vote on, which we're going to mention in a moment how you can get in on that, because you may want to nominate and vote on games to be played during this marathon, right? So, it's going to be a marathon day of gaming, I'm going to be dressed up... <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
The Little Little Girls and Boys, Santa Claus here, fresh off of delivering toys all around the world, appearing in one of DFT's videos for the first time in a long time. The first thing that this year really was a bitch, the order was a bait and switch. Nope, done. I'm not watching this. This is shit. In Christmas attire, whether it's Christmas sweaters or hats and the like. Um, some from last year, and I am going to get some new stuff for this year too. Um, I will be drinking. I will be drinking. I will be drinking. Yes. I will be drinking, my friends. What will I be drinking? My husband. He likes tea. He also likes this one. I don't like tea. I like gin. A variety of stuff. Eggnog, because I had the eggnog last year and loved it so much. I'm bringing that back. Uh, different kinds of holiday crafted beers. And maybe some other stuff too. We'll see. We'll see as it gets closer what kind of stuff I can find uh, to get for this holiday marathon. Okay? Mm. Ooh, I'm getting crisp sharp gin with zesty lime and hints of juniper. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Today, if you want to help me out the most... And you, I really do need the help right now. Please tip me on the stream. If you have the option to say, gee, I want to help Phil out today. How can I help him? Tipping me helps me the most. And the reason being is because right now, financially, I'm broke. I mean that. I'm broke. Um, what happened is, over the summer, YouTube ad revenues plummeted for me because they took away my ads for three weeks. Then I changed my video format to longer videos. And it took quite a long time for my YouTube channel to kind of get back on its own feet. So I've been kind of behind on money ever since then. Now, in addition to that, as you guys know, I, I, I left my partnership on YouTube uh, with Curse. So that made me so that my money was kind of not only decreased, but staggered as well when it gets when I get paid. I used to get paid on the 10th of every month. Now I get paid on the 20th or later for YouTube. Now, in addition to all of that, uh, Twitch, you know, has been my main source of income. For the past, you know, many months, since the summer, basically, Twitch has taken over as my main source of income. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, Twitch has been great. But, Twitch doesn't pay me until, like, the 15th of the month, usually. And right now, I'm in a pickle, because almost all my bills clear before then. Like, almost every single bill that I pay in the month clears between the 1st and the 13th. And it's really annoying, because, basically, the way that I had things set up previously worked. Because my payments would come in... And it's in tune with all of my bills and everything. Now they don't. Now I get all my payments around the same exact time of the month. But then all my bills come through before. And I'm like, shit, the money's not here yet. And this is what happened to me this week. All my bills came due. Twitch didn't pay me yet. And so I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Now I have no money. <laughs> you know? So this sucks. It really does. It's no, it's, it's no one's fault. It's just a shitty situation where all the stuff that changed over the last few months... In regards to the YouTube situation and everything that, you know, I'm in a tough time right now. I am. All right. So, <clears throat> if you want to help me out the most today, all right, the best way that you can help me is tipping me. Because tips I get right away. And I'll be able to put those right towards my bills, right into the bank account, um, until basically this, this freaking Twitch payment comes through, which... At the latest, it's supposed to be the 15th of the month. Last one that came through on the 12th, I just looked it up. I was like, man, that was useful because it came through early. It didn't come through early this month. So now that's why I'm kind of screwed. Um, why would I go back to Twitch? Where Twitch TV is literally a business model. Based off of begging. I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit here and say, please buy this shirt. Please subscribe. Please do this. Please sub. Please thumbs up the video. Please see my other channels. Please, when do you ever hear me talking like that in a video? Um, another suggestion, and I'm going to very, very clearly explain to you why this is not going to ever happen. Phil, just go back to Twitch, bite the bullet, go back to Twitch TV, and stream there exclusively, and stream like everyone else on Twitch TV, where you do streams that are catered toward your viewing audience, so it's more of an interactive stream between you and your audience than anyone caring about the game that you're playing. And we guarantee you that you'll get subs and you'll get more attention and stuff like that. All right. I have many responses to this. Okay. First of all. Bullshit. 
and I can call it right now. Bullshit. Anyone who thinks that going back to Twitch TV and streaming there is the magic solution to all of my problems is just so deluded. Twitch is all about subscription, subscription, subscri gotta subscribe, subscribe, get your, get those custom emotes and shit, subscribe, subscribe. That's why everyone over there is all about their sub, sub, sub. Bottom line is Twitch is a bad business. Twitch is not a good place to put out quality content. It's not. You are constantly uh, nagged to advertise and or uh, push subs or product so that you can make money and you're, they'll make money. They get profit from that and then you get profit from that. I'm gonna, you want to know why I know all of this? Because you might be saying, Phil talks about Twitch all the time like he knows about it, but he hasn't been on Twitch for two years. They're so stupid, they never removed me from their email list. So every time that there's a new update for partners, I get it. And all the emails I get, they have not invested one dollar into their actual business to make it better. They don't have higher quality streams. They don't have like much increased server capacity. You know what I mean? All the things you, why can't people stream at 1080p, 60 frames per second on Twitch? Because they don't care about that. They don't care about the quality of the gameplay or even the quality of the stream. Why do you think there's so many titty streamers on Twitch with girls with big ass fucking boobs hanging out and they barely can play a game, but they get tons of fucking money on Twitch and Twitch makes out. That's a big demographic for them to make profit because they don't care about the quality. If they did care about the quality, they'd stop telling you, oh, buy a t-shirt. Oh, here's a new kind of chat emote system and an exclusive emote thing and this and that has nothing to fucking do with the stream. Mimology, you actually see that on screen. Sorry about that. Uh, DSP goes ballistic at the mere mention of Almighty of Tevin or Almighty Tevin. Praise be. Second video uh, by Mighty D. Happy clown stream <laughs> turns <laughs> turns into furious Tevin rant. That's number two. 